Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got circle with the center O and uh, this uh, blue square A, B, C, D put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this point M is the point of uh, tangency and as a result uh, AM segment is going to be equal to the segment uh, MB and moreover uh, this uh, diagonal uh, BD of this uh, square is uh, 8 units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, circle please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and let's focus on this uh, blue square ABCD let's go ahead and label its uh, silence we are going to label this uh, side uh, a b as 2x since all these side lengths are equal this side is going to be 2x 2x and 2x across the board and now let's focus on this right triangle a b d and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this triangle and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is 8 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. Our side lengths are uh, 2x uh, whole square plus likewise uh, 2x uh, whole square uh, equal to our hypotenuse is 8 whole square. Let's simplify. That's going to give us 4x square plus uh, 4x square equals to 64. Let's combine like terms. So this is going to become 8x square equal to 64. Let's divide both sides by 8. So therefore x square turns out to be equal to 8. Let me undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore our x value is going to be equal to square root of 8 is same as uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2. And we know that the square's uh, side length uh, is uh, 2 times uh, x, uh, as we can see over here. So therefore, the side length of the square is going to be 2 times, uh, and our x value is uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2. Let's multiply. So therefore, we got 4 times uh, square root of 2. So therefore, uh, the side length uh, of this uh, square turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, AB length is uh, 2 times uh, X uh, and M is the midpoint. So therefore this AM length is going to be X uh, and likewise this MB length is going to be X uh, as well. So therefore we can see that this segment AM is 2 times square root of 2 and likewise this uh, segment MB is 2 times square root of 2. And likewise, these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, square are uh, 4 times square root of 2 across the board. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, DE length. We can see that this uh, DO length uh, is our radius. Uh, let me label this one as uh, lowercase r. And likewise, this is going to be lowercase r uh, as well. And here's our next step. I have dropped this perpendicular MN that passes through this uh, center O. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, MO is the radius uh, of this uh, circle. So I'm labeled this one as lowercase r as well. And now we can see that this whole uh, MN length uh, is same as uh, this uh, BC length, which is uh, 4 times square root of 2. So therefore uh, this uh, O n segment length is going to be 4 times square root of 2 minus uh, R. And furthermore let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, A m length is going to be equal to this uh, D n length. If this length is 2 times square root of 2. So this is going to be 2 times square root of 2. And likewise uh, this length is going to be 2 times square root of 2 as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle DNO. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. A square plus B square equal to C square. And here in our case our hypotenuse is uh, 
r and our these are uh, side lengths let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula so we got 2 times square root of 2 whole uh, square plus uh, we are going to write down 4 times uh, square root of 2 minus r whole square equal to r square and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the left hand side so let's take care of it that's going to give us uh, 8 plus uh, this is going to give us uh, 32 minus uh, 8 times square root of 2 times r plus uh, r square is going to be equal to r square and now we can see this r square and r square they are uh, gone let's go ahead and combine the like terms so that is going to give us uh, 40 minus uh, 8 times square root of uh, 2 times uh, r equal to 0 let's move uh, this uh, term on the other side so therefore we can write this one as 8 times uh, square root of 2 times uh, r equals to 40 now let's divide both sides uh, by 8 times square root of 2 to isolate r this is uh, gone so therefore uh, our r is going to be equal to if we reduce this thing that is going to give us uh, 5 divided by square root of uh, 2 so thus our r value turns out to be 5 divided by square root of 2 let me take a square on both sides so r square is going to be equal to the square of 5 divided by square root of 2 so therefore uh, r square value is going to be 25 uh, divided by 2 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square and in our case our r square value is uh, 25 divided by 2 so therefore the area of this uh, circle is going to be pi time our r square value is uh, 25 divided by 2 and now we know that uh, 25 divided by 2 is same as uh, 12.5 so therefore the area of this circle is going to become 12.5 uh, times uh, pi square units so thus the area of this uh, circle turns out to be 12.5 times pi square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 39.27 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye